What's going on everybody? This is Josh SDH and we are here in Seven Days to Die. And it looks like I've been dropped by a lake and I don't want to be here. I want to be up here. Let's get moving. So this is Seven Days to Die brought to you by the Fun Pimps. It is a horror survival crafting game. Oh lord. And um, it features zombies. Uh, mean, awful zombies. And I need to get out of here. So uh, basically how the series is going to work is I really am loving this game. I'm playing a lot of it multiplayer, streaming it on Twitch. But I want to do like a single player series, kind of show you what it's all about, answer questions in the comments, all that jazz. And I uh, wanted to get started on that. Oh, look at this. It uh, takes place in Arizona. Perfect. Look at th what a great start. Got a pistol already and some ammo. Let me take that down later. Uh, let's get into the desert. Um, so this is uh, takes place in Arizona in a fictional area of Nazarene, I believe. Oh, I can, come here, rabbit. Come here, rabbit. Where'd you go? Wow, they're fast little buggers, aren't they? And he's hopping. He's hopping away. He's hopping. Ah, I'll get him later. All right, oh, wood. It's good. Gotta get that wood. And trash. Trash is good. Oh, I got some paper already. Perfect. All right, let's um. Oh, iron cider. Nurse are good to check because sometimes they have medicine on them. Sometimes you just look like a creeper. Alright, pick up some more wood. Yeah, let's get out of here. So yeah, this is going to be a series where I am going to basically each day, um, each 24 hours of game time is going to be an episode. So um, it's about a second, a minute, so you can do the math out of how it works. Um, well, actually I do. It's about 12 minutes total. So that's what we're going to do for these episodes. So they'll be little mini episodes. Um, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. And that way I'm not going to edit them. You're going to see the whole adventure, uh, which right now is single player, but will potentially become multiplayer. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, it's actually kind of cool that it's really easy once you figure out how to set up a server in the first place. Oh, the towers. No, we'll come back later. I want to make it to the town. Where am I? i got to go a little more that way. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, really cool series, and once you know how to set up a server, it's not that hard. But basically, the world has ended around you. You are one of the few human survivors left. I'm going there. And this is, um, well, this is what remains. You are in beautiful, sunny Arizona. Right now we're in, like, the Sonoran Desert, which is awesome, because it reminds me of home and where I live now. And, um, there's zombies. Now, the zombies are great, because they're good, good old-fashioned slow-walking zombies. Until nighttime. When they all of a sudden turn into 28 days later, rabid, fast zombies that can tear down buildings. Did she really go down? Okay, she did. Some spam! Zombie spam! Oh, hello! Ow! Headshots do really count. There we go, got some meds. We'll need those later. Perfect, sleeping bags. Sleeping bags are how you set your spawn points, so they're fantastic to have. I wish I could pick up that fire, I'll take that. Basically, I'm taking all of the things. Um, it is a crafting based game. I want the metal from the trash cans, I want everything. I still hear a zombie around here. Hello, zombies. Ooh, hubcaps. Make grenades of those. What's in here? Tree stumps. And that auto loot, that's a little bit of a bug, I think. It comes, uh, I set my loot key to enter, and so it picks things up right away. Not entirely sure. All right, so we can pick up some more cloth. This was actually not as uh, bountiful as I got. Uh, ow, cactus. All right, you know, I'm taking that chair just because I can. Give me your chair. All right, where do we want to go? We go up here. It's already 10 o'clock. Oh, we got to get out of here. Oh, hey, zombie. Ah! Where the heck did he just come from? All right, I knew I heard him around. All right. Let's see if we can get out of here. All right, so where are we now? We gotta keep moving up. 
You know, I'm gonna hit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the highway, take it north, and take a right on the next road over. Um, so the map, as I said, it's preset right now, so it's not changing. Uh, it's one map, but the game will soon have randomized map. This is the Alpha One, so this game is pretty brand new. Um, you can pick it up on their website. It is again, uh, if you just search Google search for Seven Days to Die, I'll put the link in the description below. You can purchase a copy for yourself and get into the Alpha, which then guarantees you further updates as the game goes until it is done. Uh, which will be awesome. Um, and already, it's incredibly playable and a lot of fun. Alright, so we're going to go up here. <gasps> Ooh, there's a house up there. Uh, do I want to fortify there? No, it's only 11.42. Oh my gosh, i got to get so much done before the night falls. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I don't even know what I got in there, because again, it's a weird loot bug. I like the shotgun ammo. That's good. I should probably get some trees soon. So there's a couple ways to do that. One involves uh, just chopping down the dirt under the tree, and then the tree falls. Because that's the other piece. It is a building crafting game. You can build things a la minecart, uh, minecart, Minecraft, but uh, physics apply. And so if you knock out a wall, the floors that are connected to it will fall. All right. Oops. Got to stop wasting bullets. Big guys, take two uh, or more if you miss the heads. Alright, come on. The stress is getting to me. I'm, missing, I'm wasting shots. So as I said, during the day, as long as you have some guns on you, they're not too awful. Oh, gosh. If you run out of ammo, though, ow. They'll hurt you. They will cut you. Hope I find a gun in here. No meds. Good. Got another gun. Uh, let's put these clips down here. Reload. I don't want this to be Ow! Oh god, he ran because it's dark. That's right. In the dark, they can run real fast. I'm panicking. And I just waste a lot of ammo in my panic. Oh, okay. Um, apparently shooting that, that backpack was the way to go. I'm going to take some painkillers already. Man, that's not cool. That'll do. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, man, that already scared me. It's only 1 p.m. We gotta hurry. Oh, there's a safe. Ah, uh, there's what I really wanted to see. A shotgun. Fantastic. Since I hear zombies. Looks like they already started tearing apart the floor there. Yeah, they can tear apart the floor. I'll get some water. Why am I shooting the stairs, you say? Because I want the metal that's made out of. Because the metal is going to let me craft a pick. And that's going to help me survive my first night. I'm going to do something called, I believe it's called the spider hole technique. Uh, so we're going to try that to survive our first night. How are we doing on metal uh, scraps? All right, we need some more. Let's use the shotgun to do some quick mining. I know that's not everyone's favorite thing to do. It works for me though. So they seem to spawn in. Ah, oh, good. She got some more metal. Fun. Good. Let's get the heck out of here. All right. I'm gonna need some trees. So here's a quick way to mine. Shotgun blast under the tree, and the tree will fall. Love it. While reloading, pick up all this wood. Burnt wood is great because you get so much of it. We're gonna need this to survive. All right, let's get out of here. Now, what time is it and where are we? Um, we might be able to make it up to there. It's already almost one, two o'clock. Oh my gosh. So that's the other thing. You will keep an eye on your game clock because at night, the zombies come out and they are fast and they are strong and they are angry. And I am hungry and thirsty. Oh, let's see if we got any food. We got some spam. Awesome, and we got some water. Put some of this up here. Uh, one thing you will see is that the inventory uh, that's on my belt, what you can see visible right now. Oh, that's not water. Well, I guess I'm full. That's water. There we go. Now I can sprint again easily. Let's keep this water on the bar. Water helps fill stamina. Um, this inventory that's on the bar on your belt here, uh, if you die, you lose it. Oh, is this the church? Uh, maybe we'll make a base in the church. Lots of, yeah, that's the 
that's not very helpful, but I'll take it. Oh man, they're everywhere. Good, another shotgun. That'll be helpful. Shotguns take a while to reload. Alright, um. See if there's anything good in this church to get to. Is there a coffin up here? Oh, wonderful. I'm taking water out of coffins now. Good lord, what does the world come to? Alright. So again, zombies can tear down buildings. Uh, they can break through walls and through doors. And they tend to, it looks like, uh, they seem to spawn around the buildings to get out of here. So I really don't want to be around this church, actually. What I want to do is get to a house of either an attic or a basement so I can survive the night and do some crafting. Um, either or would be good. And I think we have enough time to do that, so we'll see what's going to happen here. And then we'll talk about the crafting and kind of the UI once we get some safe. Again, cars are awesome because it seems like everybody in this world, they left uh, all their weapons and their stuff in the car. Oops, I didn't mean to root that fast, but I got another handgun, a bunch of magazines. We're doing okay on the, on the weapons now. I'm feeling a little safer other than that run-in we had earlier. And I think, yeah, we're getting close to the town. So there's a farm up ahead. Uh, if we kept going north and to the northeast here, there will be a nice and lovely town full of houses and, you know, uh, lots of zombies too. So we're going to have to deal with them. All right. I think I want to go this way, right? <sighs> oh, I'm sighing because apparently I'm thirsty. There we go. Or my stamina is out. I'm not necessarily thirsty. Ooh, nice. Beans. Now we got bridges here over uh, Ansel Adams River. Let's take a look at this. This is pretty. Oh, that. Oh, God, the bridge is falling. So, bridges are not toll bridges, they are troll bridges, and they will fall and kill you, and it's awful. So I try to avoid them or run real fast. Alright, so let's see here, we got, uh, again, lovely forest, and I think up ahead is the town. Alright, yeah, I see some houses here. This is fantabulous. Alright, so we're at a place we can build a base. Uh, I like building in this town. Oops, shotgun please. It's a nice place. There are a lot of zombies, unfortunately. Um, oh, he's a cop. Yeah, the, the, the infected police officers often carry weapons. I got another shotgun and more shells from him. That's great. And we're going to live... I don't know, we'll find a nice house here. I like this blue house over here. Let's go live in the blue house. Um, what do we got here? Alright, right now all I really want to do is fortify the house, make sure it's empty, and then think about some crafting. There's the toilet, alright. Windows, curtains. Alright, let's do some raiding of supplies. My inventory's full already. Love it. All right. Yeah, stacking is a little weird with um, with food sometimes, so you just gotta be aware of that. All right, and the fridge, which we can come take later if we want to bring it to our base. You know, it doesn't seem like there's any electricity, but it's nice to have a fridge in the comforts of home. Let's see if we made it upstairs. What time is it? Okay, it's almost five. We're doing okay. And the zombies are definitely coming for us. They know we're in the house. I don't see them, but you can hear them everywhere. Okay, other thing about this game is curtains are your enemy. They will fall and hurt you. So I always break them. Okay, there's some walkers out there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to take care of uh, making sure no one can get upstairs real quick. And we're going to do it like this. Basically, yes, I'm shooting out the stairs because that, I think, is going to be the safest way to survive the night and keep them away from me for the night. So I said we're going to do the spider method. Change my mind. I want to live in a house and be comfortable. And uh, this seems pretty darn comfortable. So here he comes, and luckily he's kind of dumb and fell through the stairs. Maybe he'll try again. Hey, buddy. Oh, yep, the stairs are breaking on him. Excellent. So the stairs are breaking, so that means these guys, they can't run up the stairs at us. But I'll just shoot him just in case. 
Now the problem is they can tear this building down and left to their own devices. Probably would. Watch out for those curtains. I'm telling you, the curtains are devil. I hear them. Oh, man, where are they? Wherever they are, they are not happy. Okay. I'm feeling pretty confident that we're safe here. Let's just go upstairs just to see what's going on. Make sure there's no zombies up in here. Ooh, attic with a room. Perfect. Who doesn't like a nice little room? Alright, we'll come back to that. Obviously, there's some stuff in there. More water. Not as big an issue as the water. Ooh, clips. Uh, that's for like a machine gun, though. Which I don't have, so we'll have to come back to that. Alright, and another flashlight. Okay. So we're actually going to start, but let me show you what's going on with this UI. So the bottom left-hand corner, you see the, the mini-map there. And you can look in the map, and we can zoom in down here in the map so we can see exactly which house we're in. It gets a little pixely, but that's okay. Actually, it shows that we're in the middle of a house, so whatever. Um, so that's the map. Uh, so you have the mini-map at the bottom. It's not my favorite mini-map. I like north-oriented mini-maps where they don't rotate. Uh, this one always rotates, so you're always uh, it's always oriented to you. So that's okay. I mean, it's it's a design choice. Not my favorite map, as I said, but not the end of the world. All right. Um, on the left, you see the dark blue bar. That is. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, cat food. What? What we got in here? It's more spam. Or sorry, sham. Copyright. Um, so on the left is. What are we going here? Your endurance or um, your sprint ability. Now I'm not remember what it's called, but. Yeah, it's that. Uh, now underneath it in the red is your life, your hit points, your health, however you want to look at it. Stamina. That's the dark blue. Stamina. Uh, on the right-hand side, the green is food and your hunger. And the water underneath, the blue, is, in fact, water. Um, so your thirst level. If you get too thirsty or too hungry, you'll start taking damage until you die. So that's not good. You can also see above that, it says sawed-off pump shotgun. That's what I have currently equipped. And it shows you the durability of the shotgun. That's not the remaining shells. That's what you see on the right-hand side with those bullets, since you kind of rotate. Um, otherwise, it's pretty easy. So the guns take damage after use, and then you also use a bullet in the process. And how are we doing right now? It's not too bad. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is do some creative work here. We're going to make an exit to the roof. So tonight we can kind of see what's going on. And again, some people do not think it's the purest way, but you know what? If I'm fighting zombies, I'm not going to waste time trying to like get a handsaw. If I have a shotgun and enough bullets, I'm making an entrance to the roof. 